Welcome everyone to the Studio Nights show. I'm Katie Chang and in tonight's episode we're going to be highlighting some public art exhibits around Arlington by watching three video montages created by ACMI members. Um, it's really, I'm really looking forward to these three videos coming up in just a few minutes. Um, if you want to learn more about public art in Arlington, I suggest you check out uh, this website, artsarlington.org. Um, it's the website for the Arlington Commission for Arts and Culture, and it has everything you need to know about art in Arlington. Um, there's also a calendar, so if there's like upcoming events and stuff, you definitely check this out to find out what's happening in Arlington. But right here on their website, um, they have these four exhibits that are kind of currently going on. So the four here, we have Persistence, which we do a video montage on in one sec. Um, Go Outdoors, which features these like painted doors around town. Arboreal, Arboreal Attire, um, and a, a sort of a collection of projects along the Minuteman uh, pathway. So I wanted to get started by watching a short video montage about persistence that our member, ACMI member producer, Margie Dumonte edited together. So here's kind of like a little sneak peek, but let's take it away and watch our video.
Awesome, Arju. Thanks for that great video. It was really great to see the Plarn art in the trees and even some clips of the arborist putting up the sculptures. So thank you so much for doing that. That was um, art by Michelle Lugie, the artist in residence um, for Arlington right now. Uh, I also wanted to bring up the fact that Michelle is actually doing a new uh, exhibit right now through the Boston Sculptors Gallery, and she's requesting some new pieces of plastic for her exhibit. She's looking for water, uh, water and juice bottle caps, uh, small, medium, large, any sort of like plastic lids, bread tags, those little tags you get um, in your bread packaging, any sort of small packaging that's completely plastic, such as um, little containers that hold disposable um, like contact lenses, those six pack holders for, for seltzers and beer, pen and marker tops, and any sort of like interesting plastic pieces that you might find. You can bring any of those pieces of plastic to two drop off points in Arlington. One is the Greater Goods Collective in East Arlington. The address is 212A Mass Ave, and you'll see it there on your screen. The second location is at our ACMI studios at, East, at um, 85 Park Ave. Again, address below. So please keep on, uh, hold on to your plastic pieces and give them to Michelle Luigi for her uh, upcoming sculptor project. Next on our list, I wanted to bring up my website again. Next on my list, we're going to the Pathways Project. So the Persistence Project was a part of this, something you can see from the bike path. But I want to look at these dots and dashes by Johnny LaPam. And this was a project that a gas station on Mass Ave, the, um, the owner commissioned this artist to do these dots and dashes. But this upcoming video highlights uh, a newer piece that was started because of COVID thanking essential workers. So let's take it away. Again, that was a great piece edited by our ACMI member, Rodrigo Souza, with images and video provided by Arts Arlington. That's a great, um, a great project that you can still view at the gas station on Mass Ave in Arlington. Coming up. Let's go back to our website, artsarlington.org, again, where you can visit and learn a lot about all sorts of art stuff going on in Arlington. Uh, next, I wanted to go to the transformer boxes in town. These have been around for many years. It was originally started in 2014 with an old committee that's no longer around called Arlington Public Art. And the committee commissioned artists to paint these utility boxes in town. And then a few years later, I believe later when it became Arlington Commission for Arts and Culture, the, uh, the commission asked local businesses to sponsor some new boxes. 
So here's a, another video montage coming up. coming at you from Studio Nights. Here we've highlighted three video montages about public art in Arlington. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I wanted to remind you guys that the artist in residence in Arlington, Michelle Luigi, is looking for plastic donations. Any sort of small pieces of plastic, bottle caps, container lids, contact cases, send them her way for her current exhibit going on at Boston Sculptors Gallery. She'll need those pieces by the end of February, so get them to her soon. There are two drop-off boxes in Arlington. One is at the Greater Goods Collective in East Arlington. There's the address below at 212A Mass Ave. That's a new anti-plastic store, by the way, if you didn't realize. And the second location for plastic donations is at ACMI at 85 Park Ave. Again, I'm Katie Chang at Studio Nights. Thanks for joining me today.